Getting right on with it, this is Universe Sunstreaker. He's pretty much the flagship figure for the current line, and he doesn't half carry it off well. Cuts a pretty impressive figure, and presumably a rug or two in these uh, flared trousers. Yeah, his legs are very different to his uh, G1 legs, but his chest and head are perfect. That's good enough for me. Maybe that's the point. His little gun here is a bit puny, but it's kind of refreshing as it looks like a gun. And it doesn't have one of those ridiculous purple flame projectiles. And it's not just an obvious chunk of his car mode or a jet ski. Also, as a little bonus, this thing that clips onto Sunstreaker's back can actually um, clip onto the gun if you really struggle with it. Well, it, it does. It does. But if you do get it right, you can stick it on his shoulder here, although it won't really fit because of these uh, flaps on his head. I figure they're saving it for the inevitable sideswipe repaint. And his transformation actually hides one of his best features. Just try and pretend that isn't awesome. Look at the light, where I was now. Look at the Four attempts that took. The uh, vehicle mode, I have to say, is actually pretty wonderful. Uh, it fits in really well with the classic series as it's another bloody sports car. But it's a gorgeously executed one. There's a few alternatory touches in that it's uh, really difficult to transform. I couldn't get the legs out to save my life, I've got to be honest. You can also store the gun away there as the exhaust. And the license plate says, we are 84, which is pretty cool. But my favourite thing, my absolute favourite thing about Sunstreaker is his box art. If they ever do an action figure of me, I want to be up there like... 